Hi everyone, so new episode of Walking Dead, a couple of days ago, it's been out for a while, so let's do a mission and episode review, diverge, find the tool and fix the bike, okay, well that's, yeah, that's a pretty distinctive bit from the episode, I guess, uh, we followed Carol and Daryl, splitting off, doing their own thing, I'm not entirely sure like, Carol went straight back to the settlement. Not actually kind of sure what Daryl was doing, why he split off. But, well, he did. I'm not sure why this is slowing down. Well, hopefully it won't keep on doing it. So, yeah, this, this kind of makes sense. This was an important part in the episode for Daryl, I guess. Trying to find his little pen knife, trying to fix his bike. So, watching the episode, I thought, like, oh, well, this is, you know, this is the bit that they're going to be making the uh, uh, the mission out of. What do I have to do? So, one turn. That's it. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. I wonder how many bits I have to fix. Okay, so you only have to fix two bits. The back and the front of the bike. So, nice, quick, easy episode. Mission, sorry. And, um, yeah. They've done a really, really good job of tying that into the episode. It's exactly what happened in the episode, and that's exactly what you get to do. Oh, Michonne tokens. Fantastic. Okay, so, the episode itself is another one of those low-key, standalone, um episodes not much happening not really anything sort of tying into any kind of a bigger story or anything and that's that's pretty much what we've had with these bonus episodes so far so no great shakes there um it's not necessarily a problem although you know we've got some dangling plot threads kind of intrigued to know more about the stupid looking laser tag guys um, of course, we were introduced to the Redneck Terminator as well, so maybe it'd be kind of fun to, to find out a little bit more about him and his people. Um, this episode, one thing that I did like is it wasn't too miserable. The episode that had Aaron and Gabriel, they really just talk a good talk and then straight up murder somebody who wasn't really a threat <sighs> kind of didn't like that I, I know that I know that it's all edgy and and everything like that yeah let's use Maggie let's get some XP I know that it's all edgy and all of that but it was just like they unnecessarily murdered somebody who okay wasn't the best guy but was just sort of in need of a bit of help and I wasn't crazy about that. So it was nice that we had an episode where there was a lot of levity. Um, we had Carol kind of doing a little bit of a Tom and Jerry kind of a slapstick thing, trying to trying to find that rat. Um, speaking of Jerry, he was in it. He's he's the most sort of positive character really in the uh, entire lineup at this point. And it was just nice to sort of see something where even if there's not a whole lot sort of going on, um, it wasn't it wasn't miserable. So I I sort of I sort of didn't hate it. Not too much to say. I I guess there's a slight repairing of Carol and Daryl's relationship, um, and I do like that whole kind of thing of like sometimes you just need to be away from a person. For a little bit to realize how much you miss them or how much they mean to you. And I like that they represented that with the dog. Obviously, he splits off from Daryl because he's been all grumpy at the start. And then, of course, by the time he returns home after his adventures, you know, the dog's like, oh God, you know, runs straight up to him like he missed him. It was, it was sweet. It didn't really go anywhere. We didn't learn much about the, uh, the overarching sort of plot threads. That have been introduced. And I don't know if it would be anyone's sort of favourite episode on a rewatch or anything. Um, fairly disposable. Fairly inconsequential. But 
it was kind of sweet. It was kind of nice. It was nice to have some levity and it was nice to have some fun. Let me know what you thought about it anyway. And as ever, thanks for watching.